All right, so I've been casting for about 10 minutes and I haven't had any hookups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paddle back up this eddy towards the bar and cut back across and come back out here trolling the lure. Oh, yes. <laughs> Man, I was just about to give up. Just about to give up. I'm not sure what it is. I'm hoping I can either use it for bait or I can eat it. Oh no. Oh no. It got off. Oh man, I hope I don't lose this fish, I'm so hungry. Come on. Oh no. So much fight in him. Well, that's enough fishing for me. We got one decent kahawai. Hooked another few, but dropped them all. Just how it is. Um, look at all those dead kinner in there. They're not. They're not boulders. They're not cobbles. They're dead kinners. Random. So while we're out here, I just quickly want to see what's in this guy's gut. And see if my theory was correct or if they're feeding on something else man there's nothing in there absolutely empty stomach so uh, that indicates to me the white bait haven't started running yet and probably hence why there's not many of these out there because uh, his stomach's empty Yep, oh well, it's good to know. So I might leave in another couple of weeks before I try this again. Well, perfect spot for a cup of tea, I reckon. Man, it's beautiful today. Absolutely amazing out here. So quiet. No one else out here. Yeah, nice. Now I would say this is perfect, but there is sand flies. Not quite perfect. Oh, it's good to just be outside, man. Bye. 
Man, these things boil over quick. It's pretty hard to uh, put content out during lockdown because obviously we're restricted on what we can and can't do. And um, yeah, it's just unfortunate. So I'm doing my best to just get some footage out there to keep you guys entertained. I know it's not ideal and it's not my best work, but um, it's, in my view, it's better than nothing. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. And if you're not, let me know because I won't bother. But I thought, because I'm out here doing this stuff anyway, I might as well record it and um, try and put something together for you guys. So in the last video, I did roll on some clips from a couple of years ago. And um, I do have a couple more. So I thought I might roll on this next video, which was a family holiday in Okiwi Bay. It was a long weekend and it was perfect. The weather was amazing. The water was clear. Kingfish everywhere. And um, yeah, it was just an all round good weekend. So I'll roll on those clips. Hope you guys enjoy it.
back at my place now and it's actually Father's Day today. So we're gonna make the best of the good weather, get this fish wrapped up, prepped, and we're gonna take it down to the beach, light a fire, cook a feed on the fire, and um, watch the sunset. So just gonna show you what we're gonna do with this kawai. First, I'm just gonna score the skin. This is a uh, already scaled, gilled and gutted. So we're just gonna do a crisscross. It's nice sharp. Done that, we're going to get the salt. This is a good way of utilizing the whole fish. Minimal wastage. And it also makes it pretty fun because you get to light a fire. Fire's good. Everything tastes better on the fire. So we're just gonna quarter these tomatoes up. And um, they add flavour, but also keep moisture in and sort of steam the fish. And we just chuck those in the gut cavity. A small onion. And just go around. Stuff it in as much as you can. Garlic. Don't need to chop up the garlic, just take the skin off. Because of the olive oil. Yeah, get a bit more. This is a super simple way of cooking it. Nothing fancy, nothing flash. Bang it all in, wrap it up, and be done with it. So I'm just doing all the admin now before we get down the beach because sometimes it's quite challenging with the kids running around. So do as much as you can at home, wrap it up now, we'll whack it back in the fridge and then we're going to head down the beach soon and cook it up. Got our fish, chocolate bananas and our fire. Sweet. Got a little posse for the afternoon. It's pretty sweet. Smoky. There's a storm of brewing out there. So it's I gonna get pretty it. nasty over the next few days, it's but storm, last yeah. day of sunshine, make the most of it. Um. Uh, let that bend down to a coal. Excuse me. Ah, oh, you are. That's hot. Oh, right. So all I'm doing here is feeding logs into this side. When they burn down the coals, move them over to this side underneath the fish because I don't want direct heat on the fish. Right, now my turn to light fire. Whoa, light. Hey guys, look what I found. I think that's ready, let's take it off and have a look, eh? Hey? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, that's gonna be good. Yes. Put it there. Let's have a look at this kahawai. Cooked on the fire. Sunset going down. Father's Day. Ooh, let's have a look. Oh, perfect. That is abso ah, absolutely perfect, man. That actually couldn't be any better. It's just falling apart. Let's have a tester. Oh, man. That was absolutely amazing. Oh, man, that's so good. Look at that head just pulling straight apart. All that meat, the eyeballs, all that meat in the head. Oh man! Yummy! <laughs> <Got me. laughs> yes. Let's get right. So while we're digging into that, we're gonna chuck the dessert on. Chocolate bananas. Let those bad boys cook down, and we're gonna have some food. Yummy! 
Oh, look at that nugget. Look at that nugget just pulled straight off the bone. No, that's my bit. It's, it's Father's Day. It's Father's Day. Come on, guys, it's Father's Day. Mm. Oh, man. That was so good. Tomato. Okay, try that one. That's a good bit. No. So you can eat the skin. That is perfectly cooked. No wastage. Look at that. Mm. Just the bone and really everything else. So I'm just going to come in and scavenge all this meat, finish up all that. And then we'll throw the bones back out there, take a tinfoil with us. And then we've got the zerd on the fire over there. Amazing, like, how much enjoyment one fish can bring. Not only do you get to go out there, enjoy some beautiful scenery, get some exercise, and catch an amazing fish that fights well, you also get to come back out, light a fire, spend some family time together, have a delicious feed, and it's all from one fish. And that can be lost quite easily when you look at fishing. People often take a lot of fish, quickly fill it, throw the frames away, chuck the fillets in the freezer, and they're done with it. Their fun ends there, but when you actually appreciate the fish, use it for what it is and utilize everything about it, it is really enjoyable. And I encourage, plus it's sustainable. And um, I really do encourage you guys out there to do the same. I think the banana's a duck. Okay. So dessert is just a banana, slit lengthways, um, stuff it with chocolate chips, and chuck it on the fire, wrap it in tin foil, chuck it on fire. Simple campfire dessert, absolutely delicious and cheap. We don't want to cook them fast and hot, we want to cook them low and slow. They're nearly done, just flip them over and they'll be done in another two minutes. All right, banana time. Oh yeah, boy. Yeah, scoop them out. Give me a jam. Look at that. Chocolatey, banana, melted goodness. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in mm. Once again, guys, okay? thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We certainly did. Um, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right, guys, time to make a big fire. And then stand back. Whoa! -hey. <laughs>